Hey everybody, this is Jay Moore. I'm the founder of The Ordinary Christian, and today I wanna to talk to you about the secret to living a worry-free life. That's right, I wanna to talk to you about the secret to living a worry-free life. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk about a few things that should not be part of uh, living a worry-free life. It doesn't really work well, not on an ongoing basis, but that one thing that you really desperately need if you're going to live that kind of life. That secret, it seems to be elusive to you. And it's actually taken out of everything I'm gonna do is reading little experts and gonna be talking about it from my book called uh, Living on Mission in Spite of My Worry. And uh, you can find that over at Amazon if you like. But in this first one here, listen to what it says. It says that in this video, you're going to learn about some principles uh, that will guide you in experiencing freedom from the worry that is so easily uh, besets your life. We're gonna learn, learn about some principles. These principles lay the foundation from which a life free from worry can be built. It's the foundation in which you build upon a life that you can go about throughout your daily experiences, whether they're good times, bad times, easy times, tough times, but worry free nevertheless. They serve as the mortar that will hold the bricks of your life together in perfect peace and in perfect harmony and give you contentment that you your desire to have. They will serve you as a North Star guiding you on how to live life and how to move forward with perfect peace, with no anxiety. If you follow these principles, you need to trust them. You need to act upon them. And when the doubts arise, remember the words that are in the Bible found in Proverbs chapter three, verse five. It says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will direct your path. You see, leaning on your own understanding will never lead you to a life of contentment and peace. It will never lead you there. That's the reason why he says, lean not unto your own understanding. If it did, you wouldn't be wanting to listen to this video right now. It, probably the reason why you're listening to this video is because maybe you do have worry, you do have anxiety, and you're desiring contentment and peace and uh, a worry-free life. And so our own understanding always ends up short for us. Now is the time to allow God to lead you and to guide you using the Bible, biblical principles to lead us and guide us, not only to live a life that's free from worry, but to live a life on mission with him, free from worry and uh, stress and anxiety. You see, for too long, living a life of contentment seemed to be an elusive experience that only a few people experience, those top echelon people. But now you're gonna learn this, these principles yourself. In the subsequent videos that we have, we're going to be talking about principles, biblical principles that once applied to our life and practiced on a daily basis, takes away the worry, takes away the anxiety, allows us to experience contentment, allow us to experience God's peace in our life. So we're going to learn these biblical truths and it's going to give us courage to move forward into our life. Let's not forget a very, very important biblical uh, Bible verse. It's found in the book of James chapter one, verse 22. Listen to what it says. Do not merely listen to the word, the word of God. And so deceive yourselves, do what it says. Do what it says. The Bible says, don't be hearers of the word only, but be doers of the word. Do what it says. Knowing more of the Bible is not going to give you peace or contentment, especially a life free from worry and stress. Doing the word of God, putting it into practice, living it, that's where the road, the rubber hits the road. That's where contentment comes. That's where peace comes from. And it's amazing what will happen when we begin to apply the word of God to our life. You see, there's a very subtle uh, and yet very real deception that Satan likes to throw at us. That subtle, real deception that he wants to, uh, us to believe in is that knowing a lot of the Bible makes you spiritual. Knowing a lot of the Bible makes you uh, more content, 
happy. It's not true. Spiritual maturity is not based upon how much of the word of God you know, but listen, listen, you ready? But how much of the word of God you do, you put into practice. Don't be deceived. Satan wants to deceive you. He's very content and he's he's okay with you going to Bible studies, listen, going to church and listening to sermons, especially feel-good sermons that uh, you walk away, oh, that was so wonderful. I, and I get those too. But it doesn't lead us, if it doesn't lead us to action, if it doesn't lead us to changing our lives, it is a deception because feeling good doesn't mean that you are good. Living righteousness lived out based upon the principles of God's word, that's where the rubber hits the road. That's where we get traction. That's where life uh, transformation takes place. When we put into practice what the word of God says through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. So over the next few weeks, several weeks, I'm going to be going through uh, biblical principles and biblical practices that I'm going to upload every week. And I encourage you to keep coming back, looking at these videos, but more than just looking and understanding it, put them into practice. Right now, many of you have been going to a lot of different places, a lot of different areas to try to get rid of the worries of your life. You, you've read the self-help books. You have gone to psychologists. You've gone to counselors. You, you've done a bunch of things. Let me tell you where true contentment, true peace, ridding yourself of worry comes from. It comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. It comes from putting your faith in Christ. And when I mean what I mean by putting your faith in Christ, I mean putting your faith in Christ so that you actually put into practice and do what he tells us to do. That's when you begin to experience God's peace. It's not peace based upon circumstances where everything is perfect in your life. That's a, that is another deception. You don't have to have your life in perfect order. Your health doesn't have to be perfect. Your finances don't have to be perfect. You know, uh, that's not true. Perfect peace and contentment, the peace that comes from Christ, is regardless of the circumstances of your life. It's not an outward circumstance that dictates it. It is an inward disposition that God gives you as you are living in obedience to his word. The spirit of God comes upon you and empowers you, indwells you, and, and gives you what you need on a moment by moment basis. So what's the big takeaway? What's the big thing that I want you to really dig into and dive into today? I want you to understand that the Bible is filled with biblical principles for you to apply to your life. And you need to develop a, a, a commitment to God that when you learn something new that he wants you to do to the best of your ability with his help, empowered by the Holy Spirit, you're gonna do those things and what you're gonna experience that as you're doing it on a regular, ongoing, moment-by-moment -moment basis, his peace that surpasses all understanding will come and guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. You, you'll get to the place where you no longer worry about anything. We're going to learn these principles from a, a man who's personally experienced it, a great missionary by the name of Hudson Taylor. These principles, biblical principles, are not only from what he says, but based upon the word of God. It's what Jesus taught. It's what the apostle Paul taught. All right, listen to me. If you like this video, I want to encourage you. Help me out. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, force YouTube to get this video out far and wide to as many of our brothers and sisters in Christ. You see, the ordinary Christian exists to empower, encourage, and equip God's people to live powerful missional lives that brightly shine the light of Christ in their part of this dark world. And this video is to help them find the contentment and the peace to do it, to get rid of the worry of joining Christ on his mission. 
All right, take care. God bless you. And again, if you would like this book, it's called uh, Living on Mission in Spite of My Worry, a biblical advice on relieving an anxious heart. You can get it over at Amazon. Take care. God bless you.